As diners look to keep expenses down, one way is to seek out BYOB restaurants. Because when you can bring your own bottle, you can save a lot of money on the alcohol. Our hungry hound has found what he considers among the best BYOB options in town. And Steve Delinsky joins us to tell us about it. Hi, Steve. Hey, Linda and Sylvia. This really is an outstanding place. Now, nearly every little ethnic joint in town will let you bring in a bottle of wine or some beer since they haven't purchased a liquor license. But usually... The food at BYOB's isn't that ambitious. Yet at one new restaurant in Ukrainian Village, the chef has worked in some of the best kitchens in the country and is now turning out food that is both affordable and delicious. Most BYOB's tend to be ethnic joints, but at Ruxpin, a prototypical neighborhood restaurant in Ukrainian Village, the food goes well beyond expectations. Our vision with this restaurant is we want it to be BYOB because Given the economy, we wanted to make a place that was an affordable experience. It stays that way thanks to a small corkage fee of $5 per table. All the better to enjoy a calamari unlike any other in town. Korean chili joins peanuts and baby potatoes, and along with the calamari is crowned with cucumbers, radish sprouts, and dried seaweed. Fennel and squash mingle together in a salad along with crunchy walnuts and bacon. The entire bowl is lightly dressed in a balsamic mustard vinaigrette. Pan-roasted chicken goes southern, but with a twist. First, a savory batter of cumin and cheddar waffles is heated in the iron. Then, a saute pan of dark meat chicken that's been cooked in its own fat is shredded and then heated up with fresh thyme. Meantime, an apple compote is heated and laced with walnuts. To assemble, the shredded chicken is placed on the split-open waffle, the sliced breast goes next door, and the waffle is topped by the apple compote. The slaw of cabbage, peppery arugula, red onions, and black sesame gives the dish some crisp contrast, while a gravy of pan drippings and citrus adds subtle richness. It fits in perfectly with Kim's philosophy. Something that could be a neighborhood spot that provides good food and at the same time something that's affordable. Kim's other standout is a pan-roasted trout dish set above a crunchy base of bulgur wheat tabbouleh, plus sautéed dates and asparagus. Simple, yet delicious. Same goes for his dessert options, just two on the menu, including a hearty orange and chocolate bread pudding, topped with a bit of seasonal fruit and creamy creme anglaise. Nearly all of Kim's personal and professional influences shine here, from Korea to Mexico. As an American, like, you know, we grow up and we eat so many different types of food, and, whatnot, and it's like... Why not include, the, include your influences in there? Now, some people will scoff at the $5 per table corkage, but remember, the restaurant is providing proper stemware and has to wash it after all. So, no, one other note, be sure to check out the bathrooms at this restaurant. Very cool. That's all I will say. Very cool. And more information about Ruxpin, go to our website, abc7chicago.com. Look on the lower left side, all the way down. You see the Hungry Hound tab. That will link you to my stories and videos, or call the info line, 312-750-7096. And Edward brought us some delicious mm, food. I mean, so good. really outstanding. Wow. Chicken and waffles here, unlike mm -hmm. the chicken and waffles we've seen so far on the south side. Right. A little bit more upscale, a little bit nicer presentation. Really wonderful textures mm. and flavors here. Oh. This is the uh, the chocolate and orange bread pudding with that a little bit so of good. mint creme mm -hmm. anglaise underneath. As nice as any upscale restaurant oh, yeah. in town, really. And then over here, I love this. Linda's making all so done with pretty, this. This is a calamari with a little uh, Korean chili paste and some cucumbers and hijiki and sesame oil and I potatoes. ate mine already, so I have to oh, get more. It's really <laughs> outstanding. Hold on, Steve. Yeah. Are you going to finish that, Linda? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sylvia's going to make all gone good, with this good. while I make all gone with this. is delicious. I love the BYOB. is a great thing there, mm -hmm. too. So. Very nice. Great place. Thanks for introducing us. Sure. Good. We'll yep. be right back.